may have seen this device before. It's a Segway, a self-balancing electric vehicle. It was designed to be a mobility device, so its application in transportation may be obvious, but what if it had other uses? Dr. Bonnie Sawatsky, a researcher at i has been studying the therapeutic benefits of Segways for people with spinal cord injuries. We had a chance to speak with her about her research. We had done some work looking at the Segway, and the Segway is a two-wheeled mobility device that people sometimes you see in airports or on campus or about the city, and that uh, we were looking to see whether people with disabilities could use it. And during that time, the people with spinal cord injury, some of the individuals said, oh, my spasticity is less when I'm on the Segway. So, Spasticity is something that people with spinal cord injury um, experience quite often. It's a significant problem and can be quite um, debilitating at times. It's when muscles uh, contract um, involuntarily. It's either it throws them off, it jerks them away, or sometimes it's a mus muscle response that continues for quite a time. And so we wanted to know, okay, is this in fact true that spasticity does reduce with people with spinal cord injuries that use a Segway? We invited people with spinal cord injury who had spasticity who also were able to stand either on their own or with long leg braces and could able to stand on a Segway. And we wanted to compare their spasticity before being on a Segway and after on a Segway. And also we wanted to look at whether being in a Segway program over time, like an exercise program, reduced spasticity over time. So the people had their spasms measured by a clinician. So we, that's when they moved the joints through the range of motion. And we look for how much resistance or a click or a pull that you can experience with uh, moving that joint. We also measure spasticity by asking the people what kind of pain and spasticity they actually experience, just a uh, verbal, and they told us um, on a questionnaire um, how much spasticity they had. So we had the participants be evaluated before and after, and also midway during the four-week study program, and then um, at the end of it. So the participants actually came three times a week for 30 minutes and they got to ride the Segway and they really, really enjoyed being involved in that part of the study. Definitely the, the spasticity reduced before and after being on the Segway for 30 minutes. But it didn't necessarily um, decrease spasticity over time. People still woke up every day with spasticity and it was pretty much the same as they had at the beginning of the month. But the other measures that we did relating to pain and also fatigue did reduce over time. We want to understand why this is happening. We understand a little bit that standing makes a difference with people with spinal cord injury, but we want to understand what is the mechanism behind um, being on a Segway. As we know, um, the Segway actually rocks a little bit. And so one of the things is when that rocking motion, does that actually help with the spasms or is it just purely the standing part that um, reduces spasticity? So we want to look at more detailed measures of spasticity. So we're going to use what's called EMG or electromyography to measure the muscle activity at the muscle joint, at the muscles and see what happens with there. We also want to look at not just people with spinal cord injury, but what happens when a healthy, um, able-bodied person gets on the Segway and seeing what happens. Is there something that we don't know about when we're looking at the reflexes that happens on the Segway for both populations? First of all, it's really exciting when something that doesn't require medication or invasive therapy actually makes a difference to something that a clinical challenge that some people have and particularly spasticity is one of the most annoying things that people with spinal cord injury often suffer and so if we can find something that's actually fun to do 
as well as reduce their spasticity and make them more comfortable, then really we could be killing two birds with one stone. They could be using their mobility device as a way to also provide therapy so they can go to the shop and get therapy at the same time.